For the Region 1 side, Santa Rosa it is their first time participating in the tournament and they've played some remarkable football to reach this stage. While Chase, a three-time champion, are back after the reintroduction of private institutions to the tournament. The Santa Rosa lads, having to manage the ordeal of traveling from Region 1 to the city, have dug deep to showcase their talented football. In Wednesday's semi-final against Carmel Secondary, arguably the toughest test to date, they won 2-1 in a thrilling encounter at the Major Education Ground, Carfesta Avenue. Backed by a sizable gathering, Darius Williams plays the Santa Rosa side ahead in the 14th minute to spark a boisterous celebration. It looked like it would be the only goal for the night until Ian Daniels level proceedings in the 74th minute. Just when the game seemed destined for extra time, Williams completed his double, hitting the back of the net in the 86th minute to seal the win. I feel your arm perform great. It was a good game. We had some challenges there. You guys came back uh, on a couple of occasions. What do you think made a difference tonight for, for your team? What we did differently? Well, um, we just um, passed around the ball and stayed calm. The early semi final was more straightforward as the three time champions made light work of Mackenzie High with a 3 0 victory. Matrin Martins in the 12th, Sion Kit in the 18th, and Chai Williams in the 33rd sealed the match for Chase in the first half. Easy victory, I didn't expect him to play a match like this. I expect it to be more harder, but I don't know what happened to Mackenzie. I like, they play more relaxing and from we see that they relax on the ball, we start to press and you know, they um, came off the game and this is how we get to capitalize, capitalize our chances and go at them. Sunday's final is scheduled for 18 hours with a third place playoff between Carmel Secondary and Mackenzie High in some 16 hours. The top four teams will be awarded $300,000, $200,000, $100,000 and $75,000 respectively, all going towards school projects. For the newsroom, Akin Green.